I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on functions. We'll discuss how to solve a quadratic equation in this particular video. The equation before us is find solution of y equals to 2x square minus x minus 3 using three different strategies. Now there could be many strategies to solve but we'll discuss three important strategies which can be used to solve such equations. So let me begin with a general equation y equals to ax square plus bx plus c. Right? Now we could use a quadratic formula to find the solution x is equal to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a, right? So that is a quadratic formula. And this formula always works. If b square minus 4ac is non-negative, we get real solutions. If b square minus 4ac is negative, then we may get imaginary solution. However, for any quadratic equation using this formula, we can always find solution and there will be two solutions for every equation. We could have same values. We may have imaginary values or we may have real values. That is very important to understand, right? Now, let us take our equation y equals to 2x squared minus x minus 3 and solve. In the given equation, the value of a is 2, the value of b is minus 1, and c is minus 3. Using this formula, we can say x is equals to minus of minus 1, let me write like this, minus of minus 1 plus minus square root of minus 1 square, that is b square, minus 4 times a is 2 and c is minus 3, right? Divided by 2 times a, which is 2. So that gives you minus of minus 1 is plus 1 plus minus square root of 1 minus minus is positive 4 times 2 6 6 times 4 times 2 8 8 times 3 is 24 right so we get 24 over 4 so that gives you two possible solutions 1 plus minus square root of 25 so we get 1 plus 5 over 4, right? Or we get 1 minus 5 over 4. So 1 plus 24 is 25, square root is 5. So we get a solution which is 6 over 4, and that can be simplified to 3 over 2, right? In this case, we get negative 4 divided by 4, which is negative 1. Is that clear to you? So we can find two solutions for the given equation. One is 3 over 2 positive, the other one is minus 1. So that becomes our first method, clear? Now the second method is factoring. Now this method can be used sometimes. Not always, right? So here we are given the equation which is y equals to 2x square minus x minus 3. So it is a trinomial where we can think about product and sum, right? So we're looking for two roots whose product is equal to 2 times minus 3 which is minus 6 and whose sum is minus 1. The two numbers, 3 and 2 can work, will be minus 3 and 2, right? So when you multiply, you get minus 6. When you add, you get minus 1. 
So the method to solve is, we can write our equation y equals to 2x squared minus x minus 3 as 2x squared split minus x into minus 3x plus 2x. Now that is minus x, right? And now you can group factor. So in the first step, I wrote minus x in these two forms. Do you see that? And now we are doing group factoring. So when you group them, you can take x common here. You get 2x minus 3. Nothing is common. That means 1 is common. So we get 2x minus 3. 1 is common, right? Now it could be written as the common factor 2x minus 3 times x plus 1. Now remember, whenever we say find solution of some equation, it really means that we want to equate that to 0. That is what the solution means, right? So now, let's write down the solution. Now, when we are saying that these two products, when multiplied, gives you 0, it really means that 2x minus 3 equals to 0 and x plus 1 equals to 0. That gives you 2x equals to 3 or x is equals to 3 over 2. And in this case, we get x equals to minus 1. So again, we got the same two solutions. Perfect. So this trinomial could be factored and therefore this method could be used. Right. Now let's use the third method which I will say graph. You need a graph paper to get the perfect answer. However, we are going to sketch rough graph. Right? to get approximate answer, rather solution. Is that clear to you? Now it is important to understand that using graphing techniques, we find real solutions, right? Okay. So, so let's try to uh, graph. How will we graph it? Well, what we will do here is will calculate the value of this function for different values of x. Okay, so let me just sketch some. Uh, okay, we'll make here. We'll, we'll try to squeeze in. We'll take some values of x and calculate y equals to 2x squared minus x minus 3. So let me take x as minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. Right. So if I substitute minus 2 here, what do I get? Let's use calculator. So minus 2 squared is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 minus 2 is 6. 6 minus 3 is 3. So we get 3, right? So what we'll do with calculator. 2 times within bracket minus 2 squared minus within brackets minus 2. I'm purposely doing it with calculators to show you that if this equation is more complicated, how do we get the result fast, right? So we get as expected 7. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 minus minus 2 means 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. So we get this answer is 7. Now we'll change 2 to 1, right? See here. So we change this to 1 and next one also we'll change it to 1 and check our solution. We get 0. So we get one solution. 0 means a solution, right? If I substitute 0, of course, I'm going to get minus 3. That's the y-intercept. Now let me change that 1 to positive 1. Right? So now we get our answer as minus 2. And let's change it to 2. And we get 3 as our answer. So actually speaking, if we sketch this particular graph, right? So let me just sketch this graph. It is a parabola which opens upwards 
and from the given values it seems that somewhere in between minus 3 and minus 2 we have some so what we we have a change here from negative to positive that means we expect a solution between minus 2 and uh, between 1 and 2 right so this point since the graph crosses the x-axis we expect a solution there right do you see that part right okay so uh, let's sketch it so okay and figure this out okay so we have our points at minus 2 we have 7 which is a big value at minus 1 we have a 0 so, so let's say this is minus 1 we have 0 here now at 0 we have minus 3 so we have 1 2 3 so we have minus 3 at 0 at 1 we have minus 2 so at 1 we have minus 2 let's say this point and at 2 so this is 1 at 2 we have 3 here so we have 3 at 2 so we do have a parabola which kind of opens like this right so that's a rough sketch now clearly we see that between 1 and 2 we are crossing the x-axis right so that means a solution lies between the value of 1 and 2 is that correct so what we could do is that we could squeeze in some values between 1 and 2 right so we could squeeze in some values between 1 and 2 so let's substitute 1.5 so if I substitute 1.5 I do get 0 so so that point here is 1.5 so we have two solutions here which is x equals to minus 1 and x equals to 1.5 so on an accurate graph you could actually read this however as you have realized graphing gives you approximate solution right so normally we have approximate solution okay so from this particular video we learned that there are many techniques to find solution to a quadratic function quadratic formula provides us with a solution for sure we'll get two values both can be same both could be imaginary both could be real depending on b square minus 4ac right now some of these equations can be factored and then we have integer values or sometimes simple values as our solution as we have seen here graph will always provide you with a solution if you have a real solution right so graph x intercepts provide real solution perfect so that is kind of important to understand however these are three very popular techniques of finding solution to our quadratic functions so i hope it makes sense Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.